Welcome back. With kids heading back to school, it's important to prepare them as much as you can for a different kind of experience. And it's not too late, even if your kids just started back at school. Here to share some back to school tips is author, educator, school owner, and mother of four. Wow, I'm tired for you, Miss Lisa Collum. Good morning to you. Good morning. Oh my goodness, I don't know how you do it, but here we go. You are just um, right on top of it, it seems like. And you've got some really good advice because I, I love how one of the things you like to say is just get on the same page with the school or the teacher. How important is that? And that's exactly it. You know, we have some big decisions to make as parents if our kids are going to go back or continue virtual. And whatever your family decides, just make sure that you are on the same page. So whatever rules and things that the school has going on, make sure that your family is familiar with it and you prepare your kids for when they do go back. Okay, you know, and I know you you uh, run a school yourself, and you know you you set the rules and the protocols, and the rules and the protocols are going to be different this year for so many, if not all schools nationwide. My kids start back up on the 12th, and they're going back to a whole new system from check in to check out. Um, so, what can you tell us about you know how do you empower parents to be ready for this moment? Yeah, we want parents, you know, the biggest thing we can ask is just review these rules and expectations and new way of doing things with your kid. And that's important because we don't want any surprises. You know, kids are already coming back. It's been a while since they've been in school. We want them to know what to expect. We want them to know what it's going to look like in drop off, what lunch is going to be like, what it's going to be like if you have to wear masks all day. So going over all this with your kids, if they're younger, maybe even showing videos will help. That way, when they come, they're not shocked. And then as parents, you know what to expect as well. And then it just make a smoother transition for everybody. Yeah, I know. I, I love how you, you know, are, are reiterating to just go over the procedures, even show them videos, too, because I know um, in our school district where my kids go, uh, the principal and the superintendent has sent uh, us emails and in those emails, they attach videos of what the procedure will be like when you check in, just for example. So that's that's something to be on top of, right? Yeah, definitely. It, it'll just make it easier because they're already going back a little uneasy. So if they know what to expect, it'll be easier for everybody. Yeah. And then what about, you know, in terms of knowing or feeling safe? You know, it's such a scary time, no matter where you are on the issue, no matter how you feel about it. You know, I think there might be a little bit of anxiety for a lot of kids, even the parents. Right. And this is just, you know, the, the world we're in right now. And I, this is why I always tell parents, talk to your kids. Make sure they know, you know, we're not alone in this. All schools are going through this. A lot of kids are going through the exact same things. They don't think it's just their school or something in their community. Um, and then just going over, we wear the mask. That way, you know, when someone sneezes or something, just explaining everything to them. We wash hands constantly. That way we're keeping the germs off. And that's just going to help everyone not only stay safer, but understand the reasoning behind it. And, you know, they're kids. We have to keep reminding them of these things. So we should have in-school safety procedures. And then when they come home, safety your procedures like when you come home change your clothes wash your hands things like that they can get used to that routine yeah that's such, such good advice lisa column and of course this segment we're focusing on uh going back to in-person learning there's still virtual learning that's going on mm -hmm. for so so many families what's a website that people can um go to I, I know you you have really good websites out there uh where people can get even some more advice or kind of see it laid out in writing Right. So, I mean, my main website is lisacolumn.com, but there are so many, and, and mine has tons of resources on there, um, topscorewriting.com. There are so many things available now, and it, it, that's the amazing part about this. Mm -hmm. Everyone's kind of stepped up. So parents have the world at their fingertips right now as far as resources from learning from home. So it's truly amazing what companies are offering, and I totally say take advantage of it. All right, Lisa Collum, thank you so much. Appreciate your time this morning. Take care. Thank you. And we'll be right back with more on Good Morning, San Diego.